All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Hey, this one, we are going away for just the weekend. Now, that's mm. something we are not used to doing anymore. No, it's so hard to pack for. Yeah, so reason being is we are midway through our stint being, uh, what is it, two months back in Brisbane for A, schooling for the kids, and B, me working to get our bank uh, balance back up. Um, so we're four weeks into that, and we are going to do something that we've wanted to do for many years. Yep. Um, we've been invited to this event many years uh, by our mates. We're finally going to get out to uh, Leyburn for the sprints. Um, so sprints are the car racing around town. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's pretty historic. Well, it is called the historic <laughs> Leyburn sprints. So Leyburn, Leyburn. I don't know. I can't. I don't. Know I how think you it's think. Leyburn, but I keep saying Leyburn. I I'm don't pretty know sure, why. I think it's Leyburn. We'll ask a local when we get there. Who does anyone know what it is? How yeah. do you say it? Yeah, let um, us know. Yeah, put it in the comments. Sound it out for us. <laughs> <laughs> don't just write the down because we don't know what you mean then. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, I take my hat off to everyone who goes away on just the weekends because even though the van is like 99% still packed, mm. we feel like we're bringing so much crap back out of the house. Yeah, it's still a lot to think of because we know it's going to be freezing cold out there and like extra blankets because the diesel heater is still not working. Still not working. I had a little muck around with it. I still don't have it going. I think I've got to fully tear the thing apart, but Yay. anyway, we'll take more blankets and whatnot. Yeah, it is meant to get quite cold, but um, yeah, with the van, a couple of things that have happened since we've been parked up. We've got some new lights. I'm pointing at the roof there. New lights. Um, have to say thank you to David for sending those out to us. They are absolutely awesome. What I like about them is they do this. This. <laughs> that. <laughs> so, blue light, which is really good. You just good. gotta press it right. Yeah, so it's a touch sensor, so I, I don't know. Maybe there's something on my fingers that's worked every other time. Um, but the beauty of that really is in the toilet. So, when the kids, because obviously they're sleeping right here, they will have a blue light. We used to run a little, um, one of those tiny little AAA um, push button LED lights from Bunnings or Super Cheap, wherever we got them, which we has always, done, done the trick. Yeah, we always left it on though, so it was always needing new batteries. Yes, so that's going to be awesome. We can turn that onto the blue so the kids can see the toilet and air. Um, yeah. And these ones draw a whole lot less power, don't they? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, <never mind. laughs> I thought they were going to. Turns out it's just the standard amount of power for that many lights. So anyway, that's how it is. They're good though. I really like them. Um, what else? I replaced that antenna on the outside and I can't remember. We've probably done some other things, but I cannot think of it off the top of my head. You've done some other things. Fix the oven, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. All right, so we got the new uh, lid for the oven because the other one broke. So that's all fixed now. It's absolutely filthy still. Haven't cleaned it. Um, but the thermocouple, which I was saying is the reason why the oven itself is not lighting and, or it's lighting, but it's not staying on. Um, but they've sent out a different one, even though I specified the age of this Swift oven. So. I haven't heard back from them. I think they're ghosting me, but... So it's still not working? No, it's still not working. So we don't have an oven. Oh. But we've got a grill. We've got cooktop still. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to keep getting this van ready, which feels like it's going to take a long time still. And we'll catch you guys in the morning on our way to Lieber 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 Lieber. Lieber. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hey, uh, we're on our way out to Lieber Leyburn. <laughs> it's about 200 k's from Brizzy, so it's meant to be a two and a half hour drive. It's taken us nearly three hours so far. There was a little bit of a bingle on the um, Warriga Highway. Yes. I think it's Warriga. Um, roads are pretty rough out here, eh, since we left Toowoomba. They are. There's, there's a lot of whooping going on. Good old country roads. Mm. As we're driving along, you see the kids in the back there? They're on our pad, uh, on our pads, on their pads. They're not right at this moment, but they, they have been for the whole rest of this drive. <laughs> uh, which brings me to telling you that they're on, um, they're using Wi-Fi from the Cowfish Van Connect. So I did mention it a while ago, but that confirms that our tinny does actually interrupt the signal. Yeah, the because, connection. Because it won't work when we're normally traveling, but because we're going out here, we don't have the boat with us. It's working cool. So um, that's like an awesome setup. 
because you can leave it turned on and we don't have to hotspot them or anything. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank God this GoPro has got some stability <laughs> built into it. Because <laughs> I'm like, woo! <laughs> anyway, we'll see you when we get there. Yeah, the pro has done this before. <laughs> I don't even need to say anything. Well, that's all I've done even though I'm over here. <laughs> Just moral support. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> like <laughs> Layburn, mate. We're here. Layburn, Layburn, whatever it is. Still can't <laughs> figure it out. Hey, um, there are heaps of people here. Yeah, it's it like is. Caravan City. <laughs> we were driving in, we were just going, holy. It's way bigger than we ever thought it was, hey. Mm. And way better set out. Like, this is a full on proper event, which I should have known. It's, um, this town is known for this event. Yeah. But, um, it is windy. <laughs> So I don't have to tie this awning down like mad. Um, but yeah, straight into a beer because that's really what we're doing this weekend. Yeah. Having a heap of beers. Caught up with some mates. So I have to show you this. That's awfully close to my face. Sorry. <laughs> Seeker have um, sort of, sorted us out for this weekend, haven't they? They have. They always do. <laughs> <laughs> so we got tons of beers. They got some new ones too. Um, this isn't a new one, the Harkazy, but I'm loving it. Good. So good. It's good. I'm on the low carb beers though to start with, so <laughs> trying to be good. Because <laughs> this is a healthy weekend. It is, it is. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get this thing set up uh, and then, yeah, stuck into some beers. All right, so we're going to go for a walk. I'm going to check out some of the other uh, camp setups for the competition of best camp. There's a few we can see already. And if you can't tell, that we hold the building. They reckon it's been good all week that it's just ripped through today. It's the echo wind. It is the echo wind. Yeah. You are right. <laughs> A part of the uh, sprints out here is the best dressed campsite. Um, and these guys, let's face it, Erin and I didn't do anything to help here. I put but, up some streamers. Up there. Yeah, you did a little bit. I did nothing. I drank beers. But um, part of it is best campsite, and they bloody won. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> We just come down to the Royal Leeburn Hotel. It used to be owned by Shane Webke. Out the back of it, we got a. We didn't realise this was happening, but they got like a. What would you call it? A heritage vintage, yeah, vintage, like a vintage caravan. Caravans. This is cool. It's kind of up our alley, isn't it? I mean, Bertha's not quite vintage enough. No. But <laughs> she will be one day. <laughs> but have a look at this, eh? There's some really cool things here. getting a bit cold <laughs> the sun's gone down so um, we're like all rugged up hey i'm freezing and these are my slippers are they shoes are they slippers nobody knows good old kmart bargain those ones <laughs> yep yeah trend setter
Morning. How are you feeling? A little bit dusty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably had a few too many beers last night. <laughs> Um, it wasn't nowhere near as cold as they said it was going to be. On the weather report, it was meant to be down to one degree, but it, it wasn't that bad, hey? No. It was like, it says, what does it say, nine degrees now. I was bored one too hot with all my blankets that I had packed. <laughs> we came too prepared. Mm. Um, we've already heard, like, cars starting up and revving and um, the, the PA, the, the announcers, I don't know what he's saying, we're too far away to hear, but it's all starting to happen, so... Time to get up. Get up. It's 20 to 8, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dust off this bit of a hangover and uh, get down there and see the action. All right, so where you camp, it's like a five minute walk into the track. You can hear all the cars now. Don't know if you're picking that up, but. I don't know if I'm going to regret wearing shorts. The wind is icy. So bad. Which one? Eight. That, that's right oh, next one. Hey, so as part of winning that uh, best camp contest the other day, turns out we got tickets for the VIP section, which is pretty much the best part on track. It's like the last corner, free beers, free food. We're gonna go in there, have a good time, I reckon. Well, I'll tell you what, that was bloody awesome being in the VIP section. That was a good first day. Probably like the perfect part of the track because that's where they're all pushing as hard as they can and they were having a few stacks of whatnot. I wish it was just a little bit further up. There's like a corner yeah, they're just all a little bit there. further up. That's where all the action <laughs> happened. So that's where I want to go hang out tomorrow. <laughs> but free beers, free food. Um, and we met a couple of followers there, which was awesome. Yeah, so, so cool. Mm, had a good chat with them. But um, that's day one. So we're just going to hang here for a bit, have a few more beers. Then we're actually booked in at the pub for dinner tonight. There's only one pub in town, apart from the RSL. So we'll go in there, have a feed, and then um, go watch some more racing tomorrow. It's going to be good. It's been so good. Yep. What does it say, the temperatures? Three degrees. <laughs> so it definitely feels colder this morning. Because <coughs> I woke up and started seeing the, uh, what do you call it? Like mist. Yeah. I don't know if you'll see that. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Day two of the sprints, and that wind has dropped off, and it is hot. It is so warm. Oh, chalk and cheese. How bloody cheese. Um, how bloody cheese. <laughs> you heard me say cheese, and you started saying cheese. How cold it was this morning. Yeah, ridiculous, eh? Hey, what we did is we just went in, watched some more racing. Um, we're feeling pretty stuffed, to be honest. It's a pretty big weekend. It is. Um, because it's hotter, the track conditions are real good, so they're going faster, and yeah, yeah it's good fun, but. We're searing out there, so hot. Yeah, and we've got to get back because uh, Miss Bella has her first school camp tomorrow. Yep, so. got to get ready for that. And I don't want to be leaving while um, 2,000 other campers are leaving, so we're packing up now. We're going to get out of here. But what a fantastic weekend. Yep, I reckon I, we'll be back next year. I was just about to say, guaranteed <laughs> we are coming back. So if you love motorsports and camping, perfect combo here. Yep. Really yep. good. Right, so we're all hooked up, and just before I plug in that Ando to start charging from the uh, car, I just want to show you 
what we're at with the batteries because I get a lot of questions about this system all the time. Oh. We're sitting at 98.6. Um, it is 130, but this morning when we got up, it was uh, like 88%. So it's been like when you're in big open camps like this, like you can see, we've got absolutely no trees around us at all. They're way over there, they don't affect us. But um, when you're in a spot like this, you just, we don't have to worry about power. It's good, eh? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, um, lowest we've been over the weekend is like, I think it got down to 84 or something. Yeah, granted we haven't been in the van the whole time using as much power as we normally do, but yeah, it's just awesome. So if you're, if you're looking at a good battery system for your van, make sure you hit up Custom Lithium. And uh, yeah, they can talk you through the setup that we've got, or they do different setups. They mainly use Victron gear, which I love, which we have in this van, but they also do Enerdrive and, and other brands. So yeah, give them a call if you need a battery system. Rightio, we've gone from one weekend out at Leeburn, finally saying it right, because I got <laughs> roused all weekend for saying it wrong. <laughs> so one weekend out at Leeburn, and now we're spending the very next weekend, uh, we're heading out to Bribie Island, eh? Yeah, so we're going to Sandstone Point, which we have heard a lot about. Everyone who's been there says it's an amazing place for holiday, so... From what I hear, it's one of the flashiest caravan parks in the country. Yes, so... We want to get our own opinion, hey? Yeah, so uh, a bit of a change. So yeah. last weekend, obviously, dirt paddock and you know, grassy paddock, and we're going to a flash joy this time. Mm. It's one thing I did forget to mention, um, the camping at Leeburn, 75 bucks, eh? Hey? Yeah, it's really for as long as you want, just over that race period, it's $75. Yeah. Um, I think normally I think it's a free camp. We'll so. look that up, we'll chuck it in. Yeah, I'll put it in for you, but. Because it's just a showground normally, it's just, uh, you know, there'll be two or three other campers in there most other times. Yeah. But that weekend it obviously explodes and everyone's out there. But yeah, Levo was definitely a cool experience. It was awesome. I well, loved it. Definitely worth going out if you get a chance. But um, we'll get into this joint now and we'll show you how bloody flash it is, eh? <laughs> yeah. If it is flash, we don't know, we haven't been. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's a bit flash. Proper pulling bays and everything. Hey, I forgot to say before. Hey, hey. hey. How much is this joy per night? Oh, quite a bit. I'm not surprised anymore. I'm not shocked. I can't, I can't exactly remember. I feel like it's over a hundred bucks a night. I but it. already I'm like, wow, this place is fancy. So I just checked in, you get a little wristband that's got a chip in it. Where's mine? That's oh, in here. Oh. Um, or you just have to stay with me everywhere. But, um, no, I'll have mine, thanks. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is how you get into like everything. Yeah. So like the gates and all the rooms and whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's go. That's let's get set up. Hey, he's going. Hello. What are we? Where are this one in? 160. Oh, right next to him. Oh, good. Uh -oh. Might be in a little bit of strife here. <laughs> Have a look at that. Go down lower. Show it on this angle. <laughs> <gasps> around the front here. That's not meant to be on that angle. <laughs> well, you know how we wanted a new one? <laughs> Looks like we're getting it. I'm gonna do this. In case the drop does drop. You do whatever you like, buddy. I'm just gonna sort this out. They're not gonna reach. I know. I'm putting those down in case it drops. <laughs> okay. Oh, good grief. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Stand there and watch. <laughs> We're good. Okay. But it means we do need to go buy a new jockey wheel. 
What's a good one? Yeah, we wanted one of those ones, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> yes, we wanted a bzz, bzz one. <laughs> bread. Alex wants a beer already. I think the jockey will stress him. Alexa. <laughs> Thank you. Your order, man. Uh, oh, salted caramel espresso martini. Nah, no, I'm not about the salted caramel. Oh, I'm getting a margarita. <laughs> nah, just espresso martini. Oh. How good's this? They deliver it to you here. How good? Might have to take out a small loan though. <laughs> <laughs> Cash just ordered four cocktails and it was sixty nine dollars. <laughs> What are you thinking? <laughs> mm -hmm. Potato oh. bake. Hey, remember how I said at uh, Cairns Coconut when we were up there, how cool it would be because they had a swim up bar and then they didn't have a swim up bar and it was uh, kind of disappointed to be honest. You <laughs> was, um, that was like the main thing you wanted to go there for. Yeah, but they got a swim up by. <laughs> <laughs> He's been there. <laughs> <laughs> I have sampled a few of the drinks. <laughs> um, yeah, they got one here and it's awesome. They got like seats in the water so you can sit there um, my only concern is a lot of people at that bar, not a lot of people getting out to go to the toilet. Mm. Anyway, this joint is really cool, eh? Like, yeah, it's a flashy place, it's a jam-packed caravan park, but it's sort of got everything. There's so much for the kids, like you literally, if they're at the age that ours are, you don't see them. No, we're, we're literally confident with them, we just say stay within the um, gates of this place. Mm -hmm. They're off just having the best time time of their lives and then mm. we're just going to crack out a cheese platter now for uh, lunch. We're having the time of our lives. We are. <laughs> <laughs> cheese platter and cocktails and like. And beers. Hang in with Ugh. your friends. Yeah, it's perfect. We want to do this every year, we just said. <laughs> Alright, so we had a big day of drinking cocktails by the pool again. Um, but so now we're heading to the pub for dinner. So Sandstone Point is a pretty well-known pub in the area. They do a lot of events and stuff there. We've been to the pub a couple of times. Yeah. We've just never been to the caravan park. But I swear they're like constantly expanding it, doing new things. So they've just got an oyster bar and there's like a, a boat up bar you can go to and stuff like that. So there's heaps of cool things there. But yeah, we're going to head there for dinner tonight. And Yeah, this joint literally backs onto it. So yeah, just walking it's distance. two minute walk when we're there. Yeah. Should be good. Let's go. How's that, eh? Like the only time Aaron has ever pulled the camera out to film me packing the awning up and the bloody awning gets stuck and breaks. Fixed it up though. It turns out it was just um, just the slider had popped out of the, the track. I don't know how. Very strange, but she's working now. Nearly good to go. What do you think of that little weekend getaway, kitties? Good. good. What's your favourite bit? Water park. Pool. <laughs> There are so many cool things about that park, eh? Yeah, so many things. So, go. I was going to say, it's just like the most luxurious, fun, I don't know, just it was an awesome weekend away. Well set up for the kids, like we mm. literally let them just go for it and just, we know the park's all locked up and secure, so There's yeah. heaps of kids running around, yeah, it was amazing. And then cocktails for us, sitting around while 
the kids are on the slide. Yep, by the pool. But there are definitely worse ways to relax for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so they're probably like our only couple of weekends we're gonna get away while we're back working. Um, and then I guess the next you'll see is we'll be back on the road. Yes. Yep, pretty much straight after this. Yep, and then we'll let you know where we're heading this time. Yeah. Pretty excited for it. I am pretty excited. It's gonna be cool. <laughs>